Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Tales of the Neon Sea. This is a point and click adventure game that, well, I say point and click. It's a cyberpunk adventure game, sort of like the old point and click ones, uh, like the old LucasArts ones, like, you know, Indiana Jones, Monkey Island, that kind of a feeling to it, but just cyberpunk. Uh, the, the whole story here is we are this sort of washed up detective. Uh, there's something to do with in the world as an issue with humans and robots. Something about cats as well. I'm not quite sure what all's going on here, but we have this demo that we can try out. It's on Steam. I'll put a link below. Uh, and we can play, I guess there's three chapters here. We can try out and see what the game is all about. Uh, I've seen a lot of mention of this one, so I figured it's worth seeing here. Uh, being developed by Palm Pioneer and uh, published by Zodiac Interactive. Let's see what this thing is all about. Here we go. We've got three distinct chapters to, to uh, give us a taste of the gameplay. Not really a lot of keys to it. we got E, um, yeah, Wazi, E, and Shift is really all we can we need to do here. So yeah, so we're some old detective, and I guess we'll figure out what's going on as this goes on. I'm assuming we'll enlighten us as to what the story is all about here. Beep, beep. Time to get out of bed, you idiot. Excuse me? Uh, you're so noisy. What the heck are you doing, BBX? Do you want to be thrown back into the furnace? I need to perform a routine check of your mechanical areas. It's four days overdue. All right, I'll get it. You're such a pain. Go away from me over there. Let's do it. Scanning body. Beep, beep. Warning. Based on the test results, 98% of the mechanical parts in your body are breaking down. What? What are you talking about? I was just recently... I just recently replaced my knee. Don't blame me. Blame the test results. You should get ready for an overhaul, overall repair. That's my robot voice, by the way. Are you crazy? Maybe you're the one who needs an overall repair. That's not a bad idea, as you haven't replaced any of my parts for the last two years. You should be glad that I'm still capable of performing scans on you at all. Where am I supposed to find parts for an old relic like you? The museum? Maybe I should just sell you to a museum as an exhibit. Initiating self-destruct sequence. Calm down, I was joking. Go wait for me in the studio, and I'll give you an overall check soon. Mr. Mist is my name, and this is my apartment. Welcome to it. So what we can do is we can walk around, we can hit shift and run, and we can do E to look at things, like uh, this cabinet over here. Nope, not this cabinet. We can see photos of the Secret Service. Missing. My my favorite poster, apparently. Uh, <laughs> lost. Um, we have, I did see this one before, Antique Game Station, but any cartridges, collected game cartridges can be played here. I'm not sure if that means like, we can actually maybe find them along the way. I don't know, or if it's just trying to be funny. Some form more, yeah, yeah. Um, but let's go continue on here. We got all kinds of things we can click on and look at. But we need to go. I played this first little part already. But we can go head downstairs here. It looks like upstairs, but actually downstairs. Head on down here. This place must be haunted. Well, what's going on? Why don't you turn the lights on? I told you to wait for me at the reception table. There, there is something over there. Uh, you, a robot, and you're afraid of ghosts. Turn on the light. The light isn't working. It's probably the circuits downstairs. Does anything actually work in this house? Forget it. Let's find out what's going on here first. Ooh. There is a single row polling resistant key that opens power distribution box. Right, we need that. I'll take that. I think I'll come back after I fix the lights. Head on back upstairs here. And let's head on over this way. As far as release date, all I've, I've there's no date listed. It just says uh, it says early 2019. Circuits are uh, it messed up. I have to rearrange the diagram to turn the power back on. Okay, so it's kind of a puzzle, right? There's a lot of big. There's a lot of puzzles aspects to this game apparently as well. Um, we got to get power from here on down to here. So let's see if we can twist some things around and get it to work like we want it to. We'll see. Kind of Rubik's Cube style, I suppose. I think I'll go like this. And then like... Oh, this would be easy. Yeah. Piece of cake. Oh, no. Now I should return to the workshop. Okay, let's go down here. About as far as I played through on uh, my, my test game to make sure everything was working right. Uh, Yeah, let's go uh, say hello to the robot. Hello, robot. Let me find out what this is. Or suit of armor, whatever you are. With a mohawk? This place really is haunted. Don't be so paranoid. I have you dis I'll have you disassembled if you say one more crazy word. I think it's probably a cat. A cat? Listen, sound is a bit odd, but I can tell it's a cat. 
The armor seems to be stuck. I can't open it. From what I know about this old set of armor, it once belonged to a valiant knight. According to legend, his spirit lives inside the armor. The legend also says if the armor is separated from its weapon, the spirit will place a curse upon the new wearer. It has really been cursed. More talk of ghosts. And that's... What's about that weapon? Hmm, I do remember seeing a strange sword around here somewhere, but where? Uh, good question. Where's the sword at? Do I need to have a sword? I guess I need a sword. Okay, let's go find a sword. Uh, you need to save that poor kitty. Yeah, stop talking. Can you help me in any way? Me? Help? Oh, I'm sorry, but the thought of that spirit is too much for me to handle. It's like a Star Wars robot. That's feelings and everything. All right, let's go uh, wander this way and see if we can find something. Equipment for testing robots. Also has repair and upgrade functions. Uh, the antique computer device is riddled with ancient viruses. Okay. Chemical experiments bench. I don't see any word of sword. Sword over here. Small fortune was spent on this giant's helmet. It seems like a fraud now. Do giants really exist? Where is... Folders and files from old cases on the bookshelf. Swords on the bookshelf? How about over here? Most electronic parts are probably in this case. I want... I want a sword. Um, I don't think it's on the first... On the level I was at before. First level. Maybe we can go... It could be over this way. I don't think it is, though. Maybe a longer other place. Screws in my, in my coffee. Let me go look. Can we go here now, maybe? Ah, here we go. Okay, I couldn't get through that door before. All right. Upstairs we go? Somewhere upstairs. Somewhere downstairs. Whatever. Oh, look at that. There's a sword right there. Uh, a claymore. No signs of rust despite being stored in the bathroom. Pretty heavy. Works well as a clothes hanger. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go, uh... Do whatever we do with the sword. Are we need to hack the armor? Alright, I got it. Alright, robot. Or whatever you are. Yeah, use that. Wait a second. It's William. So you're the one making a scene? How'd you end up in there, dumb cat? I don't know about spirits and curses, but there's definitely something strange about that old armor. I'm glad you're not hurt. Go home and stay away from this place. I don't have any dried fish to give you. Hey, there we go. Part one done. Okay. We only got two more to go through. Well, we make it the whole thing today. Alley of Shadows. What on earth is William trying to do? Leading me all the way to this small alley. Yeah, cat, what are you doing? That's a little white cat. Huh, William, you want me to meet your little girlfriend? Yeah, something going on over there. What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, my, okay. <laughs> Isn't that Mrs. Perry? She's been brutally murdered. And it seems she's been dead for quite some time. I should call the police right away. Hello, this is Sephora Apartments. An adult female body has been found at this garbage dump downstairs. Um, okay, please come as soon as possible. We'll investigate a little before the police arrives. Right, I'm a detective. Not many people come, with, come this way, so there might be some clues lying around. You've entered the crime scene. Please investigate every detail closely because anything can be the critical crew clue to solve the case. Switch to investigation view to view more traces at the crime scene. When all the crime scene traces are found, they will become very important clues to help you complete the final deletion. Detection of the case. Okay, let's go look around. So we gotta look at things. Uh, like, hold to investigate. Laceration from a blunt instrument. Okay. Left elbow bruise. So I can switch to like my tab. Oh, okay, okay. Black light kind of look. Ring marks. Unusually shaped wound. We combine these. Strangely shaped blunt trauma on the head, likely cause of death. Liver mortis on the arm. Uh huh. She has cat, cat clothes. I can't see anything there. Oh, house slippers. Liver mortis on only one house slipper, by the way. That's all I'm seeing here. 
Okay, so we switch back to the other the other view here. There's a heel bruise. Okay. One house slipper, we got that. There's something wrong with their knee here. Um ah. nickel nickel allergy, but then evident on the neck. Uh, there are traces of both of jewelry on both the neck and left finger. Fading of the cadaveric spasm is inconsistent with like okay. That's likely occurred several hours after death. Bruises on both of the elbow and heel seemingly formed but after death was moved. This has probably happened around the time the jewelry was stolen. Alright, do we have more of these things? I got that one. Got that one. Oh, what's that? Oh, some on the face. Okay. State of liver mortis. Been dead for at least 24 hours. We got a little. I'm guessing this is my key thing here. It's not quite filled up yet, though. Let me know about the house slippers. I'm pressing E on this, and it's what's revealing things here. I'm just gonna look at everything. Let's go back to normal mode. There is dislocated wrist. Oh, okay. Miss Perry's been uh, dead for some time. Body went through intense collision and was dragged here. Jewelry was stolen after her death. Okay. Hello, doggy. Some traces go all the way from where the body is. That's a cat. That's not a dog. <laughs> from where the body is to the spot under the trash bin. You need to move the trash bin to find out more. Okay. Push it. Yes, push. Oh. Pull. You mean? Obvious traces of friction on the ground, surrounded by footprints. Footprints show that the person should have been thin and weak. Clear traces of scratches on the ground near the body. Some footprints probably formed by when the body was being moved. Traces on the ground all go all the way out. Check them out. All the way to the trash bins. Necessary. Check it up closely. Hey, little fatty. It's time to get up. Sun's being... <laughs> Sun's up in the sky. Woo hum. What? You have, a, you have an eye patch? Uh, you're sleeping so tightly. It seems like I need to distract him with something. Okay. Traces of friction start from here, surrounded by some more f smell similar footprints, like earlier. Same person. Okay. person had wandered around for quite some time here. I need a snack for you. There's like trash over here. Oh, what's this? Cat food. Oh, okay. Hey, I got something for you, Patty. Here you go. Look in here. There's a clear dent on the metal box. Seems to be caused by a heavy object falling from above. This dent seems quite new, judging by the wear and tear of the surface. Okay. Should be the result of heavy... Yeah, we saw that. Who, what, who caused it? I think I have an idea. Enough for the investigation. Let's go through the case again and find more clues. Q. This Perry's been dead for quite some time. Uh, every clues... Col Every clues collected for the case are like a gear on a watch. Only by linking all the clues can you get close to what really happened in the case. When you, there are enough clues, try reasoning the case here. When all clues are in the correct spot, the case reasoning can be completed. Completed. Um. Oh. Okay. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. We need something like big. There. So then you can turn it and then that thing turns. There's a new dent on the metal box, which should be a result of heavy... Oh, so I have to like, do this in some sort of order. Interesting, interesting. Move the gears is what? Tab? Space. Oh. Uh, yeah, go, go, you go there. I'll put... Yeah, sure, that's good. You're going to go... Traces of scratch go all the way down. I guess I need to like read this stuff and put this where I need to go. But I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put it where I think it gears look like they, they need to go. Not quite. Um, that's not right. Okay. We'll do this in order then. So, it has to be the big one that goes here, though. 
There's a new dent on the metal box, which should be a result of heavy object falling from above. What was the dent caused by? Traces of scratch go all the way to here and are surrounded by footprints. So we wander around. Traces of scratch in the ground near the body. And Mrs. Perry's been dead for some time. I think maybe... That won't go there. There's one right here, though. A little guy. It's possible this one doesn't go... Maybe it goes there instead. And then... Like that. Huh? Huh? Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure that that gear's really made me... Helped me any. The suspect threw Miss Perry... Uh, body from upstairs. The body smashed into the trash bin from above and left a dent. I figured that out, even without a watch. The thief turned up not long after. It seemed to be hesitant at the moment. It took the thief some time to finally commit the crime. Of stealing her stuff. And he dragged her away. Then he dragged the corpse from here to where the rubbish bin was and tried to conceal the traces. Doesn't answer whether the thief was the same person that killed her, though. Murderer should have been should have made a loud noise when he dumped the body like that. Whoops! I just clicked off my screen. Okay, there we go. Finally here. No, oh, okay, done. All right, let's try number three then. William's adventure. William, the cat. I need to see Mr. Bourbon for permission to move through this area. Only then can I go searching for the weapon in the biochemical count's territory. Excuse me. So on the team page, Steam page, it says, uh, and where gangster felines scheme their way to the top of the food chain. So, uh, okay, okay. Um, sure. Can I, like, jump? This is the only way to Mr. Bourbon's place, so I need to turn off that power box. Oh, up there, oh. I see, I see, uh, I got an idea. I think I might have it. Let's run. What's this? You are missing a pulley, a box. You're missing the baby rattle. Okay, I got it, understood. Let's go get a baby rattle. Uh, hey, cat. Where are you? Under the wise leadership of the old man, our kitties have driven those, those uh, biochemical cats from the Fisher family out of this block. We are the strongest family. Meow. We are the strongest cat family. Meow. <laughs> okay. Let's go inside here. What's going on in here? Quirky color of fur. Like those biochemical cats. Humans have such a weird taste. Uh, yeah. Hello. The old man is not well recently. I'm concerned about him. What has the blue cat learned from the humans? He thinks he is some kind of artist now. Okay. Oh, hey, look, there's, there's our rattle. You interested in my work? To be honest, I'm more interested in that control stick. It's my masterpiece. Such excellent taste. Perhaps you are my soulmate. Sure, can I have it? Those of the cats simply do not appreciate such fine quality. If you really want it, I suppose I could give it to you on one condition. If you can correctly answer three questions about me and my family, I will reward you with my masterpiece. Are you ready to answer questions, or do you need to speak with others first? No, no I'm, I got it. Okay. What is my occupation? Uh, Artist? Correct. Okay, next. Which of these is a quote from the old man? Uh, uh, die is cast. Incorrect. Maybe you should ask around. Okay. Hello. Quote from the old man. Every cat has one destiny. Oh, I should have known. The die is cast. I'm not sure who said this. Yeah. Uh, okay. I got it. I got it now. I got it now. Yep, yep. I'm ready. You are an artist. Okay, next. Old man. Every cat has one destiny. Correct. Next. What's the name of our rival family? Oh, uh, the Fishers. Right, those biochemical cats have no taste for art after all, at all. You answered all correctly. You really are my soulmate. Please take my all-time greatest masterpiece as a gift. Looks very artistic. All right, thanks. Who's this guy with the, with the glasses? No passing order is still in effect. You cannot proceed without a permit. I can't do anything without a permit. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's scamper out of here. Uh, I'm going to go yeah, up there and out. Okay, so we got the stick now. Let's go back downstairs. 
and uh, pop it in. Yeah, do that. Now we'll do it. Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I get it. Yes, like a cat. Things do not belong on ledges. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so we can go down there now. I guess I can't jump this way. I gotta go around. Hop down there. And then we'll bounce back down there. And then we gotta jump up here. Okay. Now where? To meow with it. This is blinding. Alright, so I'm so jealous. <laughs> Uh, those dudes down there who get to meet Miss Anna every day. So, you want to meet the boss? Well, if you can get, turn the color of the neon lights to the color of Miss Anna, I will get you over here. Well, what color is Miss Anna? I don't know what color she is. Uh, how am I supposed to know that? Oh, she changes her looks. That's the color of my blood. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You are worthy of meeting with the old man because of your outstanding courage and wisdom. Jump on the platform now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, pirate cat. Look at my eyes. Something's wrong with me. Uh, freeze. Show some respect, you little punk. You can't just walk in here like this. Easy, Bradsy. There's no need to scare our little friend. Meow. Yeah. I'm sorry, boss. I was worried that... No, no need to be concerned. In fact, our friend here might have arrived at just the right moment, says Vito Bourbon. You must be William. I've heard about you, and I'd wager you're here for the permit. Yes, Mr. Bourbon. I have a... to pass. There's something important I need to do. I can't certainly grant... I can certainly grant you a permit. However, there's also something you can do for me. Listen to my conditions, and you will gain the friendship of the Bourbon family. That's it? That's number three? Done? Any more? I think we're on, uh... Nope, we're on trailer mode. Alright, well, there we go. So there is Tales of the Neon Sea. It is, uh... The, the demo here I just played is on Steam. And there is a, uh... A link to that on the page. And you can also wishlist or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.